Hey most guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to be making a shake. I call this the weapon of mass construction. Okay. And it's a banana. We're going to put a cup of oats, one banana. These mixed berries, we have one cup. One scoop of whey. One serving of creatine. Optional, you can put some honey. Today's leg day, so I'm going to add a few extra carbs. If you want more calories, you can add peanut butter, but today I'm not going to do that. By the way, guys, some kitchen essentials. A blender. <clears throat> I really recommend getting an air fryer. I love this thing. It is wonderful. If you've experienced this, let me know if you have one. And then right here we have a scale. This is super helpful if you're counting your macros. And uh, it's just necessary. It costs about $20 from Amazon. So many guys I know, they ask me, man, I got a new relationship. Everything was going so well. Freaking uh, me and this girl were connecting great. And then a couple months later, I turned to a simp and she lost respect for me. She started to distance herself from me and now she just wants to be friends. It's all about care, man. It's all about care. A lot of the, the girls tell them, I miss the old you. I like the old you, I want the old you back. And it's all about care. It's all about care because when you first met, your happiness wasn't tied to her. You didn't care, give a shit if she was happy or not. You didn't, you didn't care if she was having a bad day. You just wanted to, you know, burn it down. You wanted to slay the dragon. And then you started caring. The moment that you tie your happiness to her and you start letting her affect you, or your mood, your frame, your happiness, dude, you're going down a slippery slope. And it's not long until things start to crumble. A lot of the guys, man, it's like you're in a lesbian relationship, dude. It's like two females. Nothing wrong with two females. Nothing wrong with lesbians. But you usually even see a dynamic in a lesbian relationship where there's a more submissive and there's more of a leader type. There's a positive, there's a negative. There is a, uh, you know, there's, there's, a, there's this dynamic in every freaking relationship guy or girl and a lot of you guys are entering into this lesbian relationship because your girl wants to be submissive she's not going to tell you that obviously okay because the world tells her that's bad but you'll see how she acts when she can be submissive so she wants you to be a leader and i'm not saying like beat your damn woman like i'm not saying cuss her out and like belittle her like get down bitch and that's not what i'm saying I'm, like it's different than that, but it is a confident, a confidence in your decisions, a confidence in your actions that frees her from her anxiety. Because a lot of times when you guys think your girl's unhappy or she's ignoring you, she ain't texting you, and you come back, baby, well, what's wrong? Why aren't you texting me? What's going on? You know, why are you upset at me? Well, and this, and then you start arguing with your own bigot. Don't argue with your woman, man. Because then you just become like her. You become like that anxiety. A lot of that unhappiness that you think she's going through is really just a mask for anxiety. And it's anxiety that is based off of to test the security of the future with you, of the stabilization of your relationship, and, uh, you know, to the confidence of your choices and your actions. So, guys, listen, if electricity has nowhere to go, if it doesn't go into the ground and dissipate, what happens? You get a freaking uh, electrical surge. You get fought fires. You get damage done to the equipment, all right? You're going to get damage done to you, and your whole relationship's going to go out of whack, and you're going to lose it because you're being anxious little b all right so you got to be that grounded force you got to be confident man in your decisions of your career path confident you know when you pick the restaurant when you go to the restaurant you chose you you chose the damn place you don't need a you don't need a mama you need to be confident in your purchases you don't need to explain yourself all the time that's what she's looking for because once she meets that confidence in your actions that your actions show and that uh, frame that you carry about yourself, then you're going to experience a very awesome relationship with your woman, all right? But the thing is, a lot of guys, they enter these relationships 
and they're already just these anxious men, anxious about the future. They don't have this stability at their core. They um, they complain a lot. They're very uncertain. They're fearful. It's fear that is at the center of their life, not peace. And so when you find that peace, though, then you become a force of nature that just dissipates the anxiety, that grounding force, man. So that's it. That's that's really going to change the game for you in your relationships. Hi, Thumos, by the way, gentlemen. Uh, we're going to be cooking some eggs. Just got back from the gym, so let's get it. One time I was doing this, the pan was so hot, I came back to the, get the butter and it freaking, uh, it jumped out of the pan and it, and it landed right on my hand right here. I had the biggest blister. You can kind of see a scar, but be careful with that, man. We're doing five eggs today. Put them on, turn down the heat to medium. Get a little water on the lid. Just go around like that. gonna help it steam. A little salt. Boom. Boom. Kimchi's definitely high thumo, so you guys gotta try this. Good for your gut. Good bacteria. Look at this. This is spicy kimchi. I know you Koreans eat this stuff. I hope it's some Amero bros. I hope you guys try this. That's it. That's my post-workout meal. I'll probably eat this. Go train jujitsu in about two hours, and this will hold me over. Then we'll have dinner. Got to hop in the old core. Check this guy out, man. Jack stacked and racked, man. Let's go. That's Mason. Uh, I'm going to shout his Instagram down below, Protein Consumer. Guys, I shout everyone out in this uh, group all the time. You know, challenge winners, check-ins for the fitness challenges, everything. So you want to shout out or something, man? You got some Instagram? You want to get your followers? But we got... Almost 800 men in here, so come and uh, post your stuff. Anyway, look at this. This is the handstand challenge. Look at this guy. I think he's going to take the cake. Making it look easy. But uh, we got a few other really good ones. I love to see him. Get in here, dude. This is the Discord. Costs less than a uh, freaking uh, cup of coffee. Come join us. We also have our money challenge going on. Trying to make an extra $100. We got guys selling eBay. This guy's actually cooking up meals and sending them to... Uh, he's selling them to <laughs> employees at his work, which is just genius. He just cooks in bulk. Anyway, we're going to give away some cash prizes. And, uh, yeah, we do these challenges every week. Get in here. See you guys soon. Like you play your bottom hand through. Thumb up. And then just get married.